So I recently saw Tuber's video where they attempt to beat BTD6 with only towers that wear shoes. So I asked myself, can we beat Bloom CD6 with only towers that wear capes? And at first glance, you may think, yeah, we got a super monkey and a druid, but that's all we start with that actually have capes. And to make matters more difficult and worse, we only have two heroes that even wear a cape, Galaxia, Azili, and Adora, two of my favorite favorite heroes of course and to make this even more difficult for us we're going to be doing this on chimps which i'm not even sure is possible because our main concern is definitely going to be purples and camo because the towers that we are choosing do not pop purples or camos this one does but once we get to those camo purples we are done for it because there are a couple rules we have to follow although this druid does have a cape this one does not that is questionably not a, it's some kind of overcoat long-armed thingy this bottom path has a cape so we cannot upgrade to any path that does not have a cape and we cannot place any any monkey down that does not have a cape meaning that if a third or fourth tier does have a cape but the first does not we cannot place it until we have enough to do so which is going to make this extremely i hope the word is not impossible and just difficult but i think we can do this i do have a couple secret plans up my sleeve to hope that this will work out i went with adora over eliza because adora is a powerhouse now she cannot pop purple she cannot pop camo so we are going to struggle a little bit there but we do have our buddy the super monkey once we have 2700 dollars and then a million more dollars to get the ultra vision now so far we have our lead popping and we have our purple popping team right here and if we need more general popping we can go with heart of thunder or anything like that now my biggest concern right now is going to be camo balloons does this monkey on the shimmer have have a cape no whatever that little valedictorian thing around his neck that you get when you graduate does not count as a cape unfortunately and summon phoenix does not have a cape we have to get to arcane spike meaning that we need like twelve thousand dollars thirteen thousand dollars to even place that tower down and now i think we've ran into our first major hurdle of this challenge now if i place my super monkey you think we'd be in a good spot here but i mean all three towers do have capes indeed but we need 3240 and then another 12 8 1295 in one round just to pop our camo because none of these guys pop camo which means here we go with the round 24 again and now we have galaxia zelia it takes her three hits to knock down one green so i don't see what we're gonna do on round 33 but she is on strong and hopes that she'll take everything else out i'm a little nervous here we still need 3240 for our knockback and then we have to grab our ultra vision here i don't think i i think i jumped into more than i can chew on this one we're already having problems and azalea is going to be great in those later rounds if we have the money i would never in a million years choose azalea for a chimps run i know i'm going to get those hater comments saying like no azalea's the best and blah 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 but she's not she is not the best i would choose ben over azalea in chimps mode just so you guys know that's what i have against my girl azalea i'm sure she's a wonderful person but her bloom popping skills are <laughs> are subpar at best let's go to ultra vision for this super monkey here now does the bottom path have a cape of course batman has a cape that's like asking if superman has a cape and that answer is of course yes too but we cannot go middle path and oh my gosh and none of these can pop purple i believe this one can with some monkey knowledge but that's still twenty thousand dollars that's not here or there so my next plan of attack i kind of want if this could even hang right here can it yes it can what i want to do is leave this guy as just a little camo popper purple popper right because i'm not even sure when those purples or camo purples come this guy can handle them all for sure azealia seems to be doing just great against like any type of lead rush that's happening and then if we need to we do have this little range here i think this can take down a moab at least i'm hoping it can and what i would like to do is i'd like to shoot for the stars here and get 10,800. and it looks like i need thirteen thousand dollars to grab the wizard right off the bat and get that arcane spike and now i think once we get arcane spike it's going to make all the moab class easier it's going to make everything easier and it looks like we cannot beat round 39 with what we have here so the question is do we sacrifice our purple popping or you know if we just go hard thorns and heart of thunder that could do a lot of damage here and help us out tremendously now we can't get druid of the storm because he in fact does not have a cape he has a weird monk outfit i guess you'd call it now my question is that moab on round 40 was that a bad play to do here now can we take it down with just a oh she's what is she doing to it she's attacking it I like her. Okay, now take them all down. Okay, that is not going to work, unfortunately. So I feel like we definitely wasted money on this guy because we are going to have to upgrade. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to be a little silly here. We're just going to get epic range. I feel like that's going to help out more because that extra range, and look, at we got it way sooner. I think that's actually going to pay off a lot. And now we have our purples covered too. Now we're back on that grind to get $13,000 for our top path arcane spike. And I'm wondering if there's any other caped crusaders that I'm missing. I was hoping there was like a ninja. Oh, there is. 
Blue Jitsu has a cape? No way. We probably could have got, I don't know if we could have afforded that by the camo time, but that would have worked. So you find out new things when you try out these challenges. I did not know that the Blue Jitsu had a cape. That is awesome. Now, I'm not sure if I'm even going to need him at this point, but it's great to know that if I have like $4,000 extra, I think that's be enough for him. 4,000 bucks, I can just plop him down and grab it just for some extra popping maybe at the end if we're going to lose. Now we have $13,000 here. I think this should be enough. We'll let him just kind of, I guess right here be a good spot since he has that extra range, right? Or maybe here. This is a good one too. No here. <laughs> no here. Because <laughs> he's going to be like our main Moab popper. We're going to go all the way up to the top here. And now we are wearing a cape and we are good to go. We have four Cape and Crusaders out here, and this guy should do a lot. Does an Alchemist wear a cape? I would love it if Stronger Stimulant had a cape. No, he has Brew on his back. That's what he does, and that uh, is not a cape. That's a shredded thing. Are we going to have 43,000 for a Bloons Master Alchemist cape? I don't know, but honestly, I'm not going to go for him on chimps. That would just be silly. He'd wreck everything that we need him to, except for what we need him to. Now, my next plan of attack here, I hope it all goes as planned, is to grab an Archmage, because if you guys didn't know, Something else I found out from playing challenges is that the fifth tier top path actually reveals camo. He has the big shimmer ability. He's like his own kind of paragon in a way to where he uses the bottom path shimmer on his top path, which means that everyone here will pop camo. And uh, although this guy already does pop camo and is really not going to affect everything, it might help out a little bit. Maybe we can go for avatar of wrath strategy. That could be great too. But generally, I'm just going for the popping power of the arc mage. I don't know if that's the right play here, but I used to completely solely rely on the arc mage back on the day if you go to my older videos of all my old chimp strategies i use the archmage a lot because he's great he's gandalf the great and he knows how to beat this game i don't know guys we're on round 62 with only thirty thousand dollars, and i need two thousand more on this round alone yes we still have a lot of balloons left let's hope we can do it if not we're gonna have to think of something real quick here oh come on man no, I need a lot more. I didn't even do my math correctly. We need $34,000. Oh my goodness. Let's risk. Oh my gosh. What are we going to do here? Wouldn't it be funny if something like the bomb just had a random cape popped on the back that you just never even noticed on it? Oh, we get a super monkey fan club. But what good is that going to do? Give us another just basic super. Now the Paragon has a cape, but how are we going to get? I mean, this guy has a cape, but none of the other ones do. Glive Lord has a cape, which more glaives has a cape. Okay, but this one does not. So we have to go straight to more glaives and I think probably probably bottom pass so he can pop that lead too and give him a range like this one just ridiculous range that goes the whole way uh please work buddy if not we just wasted some money here but with all of these we should be okay oh yes this guy is the golden one i'm pretty sure this guy's doing a lot of the work but just the fact that we have him is making this so much feel better for me and now we're going to grab an arc mage giving him some camo and i think we're in a golden spot here to keep this rolling so we already have enough for an arc mage on round 68 i just don't see anything being an issue now at this point do you well, here's a big what I thought would be a hurdle. Round 80 ZOMG, but with the Arc Mage, is it even going to be a big deal? No, and we have Azili's ability too. Her third ability literally just like makes Moabs disappear. You just can hit that button and then they're all gone. They literally just disappear as you delete them, kind of like Ben's ability. So what I think we need to worry about here, because I have played with the Arc Mage so many times. Round 95, round 90, round 93, anything with DDT, especially 99, is going to be awful. Pure, awful garbage, and we're not going to be able to even get through it so what i think we need to do is shoot straight for my buddy the bottom path moab domination now he's fifty four thousand dollars fifty six thousand dollars fifty seven fifty eight we're gonna have to get fifty nine thousand dollars here just to drop him down at the first play because we need only monkeys with capes but if we are able to get him before all those 90 rounds, I think we should be okay. I think. I'm not even guaranteed on that because we still have to shimmer all the DDTs before he can even pop them. And that could be pretty bad given that shimmer is probably like one of my least favorite upgrades in this game for how random it is. Shimmer's kind of like the old wall of fire the wizard has, where as the balloons are coming at it at our camo, it's like, I'm out of here, bro. And he doesn't shimmer any of them. But now they're on 85, I can literally hit this button with Azili's ability. And look it, we just decimated those things. But I'm not even going to use her ability on 87 with four of them. I think the Archmage is just going to destroy all these too. Oh, this is getting close. This is getting close. It's all on the Boomer right now. Boomer, you are literally saving us with your Boomer abilities. That is crazy. Okay, but I said 59,000, right? So I think it's about that time because I'm getting a little scared here. We need to grab our dude. We need to grab him right now. Go for it. Okay, but I don't remember which cross path to go with. I know I did this recently in like a challenge. I figured out that one of them was better than the other. I feel like the top path would be better. Gosh, I don't actually know. But the faster one would be kind of faster, right? And we need to hit those DDTs like head on. So I'm gonna go faster. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. But I want to go fast. 
Okay, here's our first round 90. Can we take it out? Okay, as expected, we had to shimmer them first, but that, think about round 95. It took three hits to take those three out. We have what, 37 on round 95? I'm a little concerned here, but we do have money, but not enough for anything fancy. What I'm thinking that we can throw down maybe to help us out a little bit is like a Dark Knight with Plasma Blast. He still does in fact have a cape and he can just be a little bit extra damage for us. If not, if we can maybe get 34,000 for Glive Lord, he can clean up everything else. Oh, we do have Azili's ability. We can try that out. See, okay, okay. No, oh, that was really good, actually. Good job, Boomerang. Kind of like Sokka in the Avatar Last Airbender. Good job, Boomerang. Come back. Or the very last episode, or I think second to last episode, he goes, I don't think Boomerang's coming back this time, Toph. And it's like a sad moment. You kind of tear up a little bit because the Boomerang has just become part of the show. Kind of like this guy is still in the show with his abilities right now. So what I think we'll do is we'll see if we can take it down on our own. If not, we will use... I was gonna say Toph's ability. We'll use Azili's ability and we'll knock it down just like this. I think we're gonna take, no no joke though, right? You're kidding me? This easy? I was like, this is chimps mode. This might be a little difficult. Even on Monkey Meadow, chimps with only capes is gonna be card. But you know what? This has been pretty simple. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, balloons are too much. Balloons are too much. Now, do we want a Glive Lord for the back or what do we want to do here to make sure we don't screw up? Because 98 is still going to be the worst round, 100%. And we're not even guaranteed we can take down 100 with what we have here. These are kind of ugly towers. And this isn't the best spot for a Glive Lord, to be honest. It's pretty bad. It's actually really bad. So I'm kind of thinking like maybe in this little circle here or in this little corner here, but I like that he is attacking. All right, I'm just going to take the chance here. We're just going to do it. We're going to grab a Glive Lord and he's going to help out. Hopefully just do it. Just do it. Just help him out. And then I think we're going to use this. No, no, no. I shouldn't have used their ability. I need our ability for 99 because we have fortified DDTs. Did I just ruin the whole game for us? I feel like I did. I feel like I just ruined it. Let's see though. Can we take him? Oh, come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. We still got it. Here's round 100. Azili's nowhere near enough to be like strong enough for this whole thing. That's a big bummer. That is a big fat bummer, but we can still use it once it breaks open, if it breaks open. These guys are really strong. He has like damage over time stuff going for him, and this guy is just literally going ballistic. I think we'll be okay. And I'm going to hit this. There we go. We took it down. We took it down with $17,000 to spare on round 100 on chimps with only caped monkeys. And if you enjoyed that, then I know you'll love this video. We add a brand new monkey to the game, the Minor Monkey, with his Paragon. That literally gives you the most money that you have ever seen in Bloom City 6.